Here's the guys that are bringing you this show. It's a wrong road I go when the daddy new boss Body swunger Welcome to the Velvet Room. Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Why don't you introduce yourself? Right. I was on my way back.
wonder what everyone's been up to. I haven't picked up Yosuke's gift. Hello! Is this Sensei? Yeah, what's up? I'm really sorry to bring this up, but I forgot to tell you something very important. A special request for the souvenirs I'm sure you'll be bringing your bear's friend. I was planning on bringing something for everyone anyway, but go ahead. Cool! Well, Yosuke's been down in the dumps after his mommy burned his favorite nurse. She was what I called scorching hot! <laughs> Just kidding. A, a nurse? Aw, oh, come on, Sensei. You know what I'm talking about. His nurse magazine with the chest examinations and the bear behind. I see. Uh, and you expect me to buy him a replacement? Of course, silly. People coming to visit are supposed to bring presents. Mm hmm. All right. Oh, I was planning to head back tomorrow, but since we're meeting up early, I decided to go back today. Can you pass that on to everyone? Aha! Then the sexy nurses will be arriving even sooner! It'll be like, like, Sensei, we have an emergency patient. Yusuke will be so happy! Okay then, we'll be waiting for you! Nurses, huh? Yaso Inaba. This will be the last stop. Yaso Inaba. Oh.
Now, what should I do? Nanako? Big bro! You came to meet me all on your own? See you again, too. No sense standing around here. What's in the fridge at home? <laughs> Lots. Dad and I bought a ton of stuff since you were coming to visit. with news for May 2nd. Our top story is on the domestic airline that was hijacked yesterday.
That brings back some memories. Nothing will show anymore, though. Just in case. school students a new legend is about to start be the manliest of all men come on down nobody touches his precious nanako the sister complex kingpin of steel you narukami it's only natural wage slave in the boonies by day hero by night captain resantamo yosuke hanamura everything that bores me has got to go a spunky dragon with deadly legs! The carnivore who's discarded womanhood, Shie Satunaka! You need to eat more meat! Please escort me to the ring, my prince! The unconquerable Snow Black, Yukiko Amagi! I'll finish you in one strike! Blooming roses and bulging muzzles! The blood-curdling beefcake emperor, Kanji Tatsumi! Deep into realms of romance! The body of a child, the brain of a genius, the 2000 IQ killjoy detective, Naoto Shirogane! Is this an army of idiots? Fight and survive towards the one throne waiting at the end! The P1 Grand Prix where fierce fights will be fought! The battle begins tonight! Sister Complex Kingpin of Steel?
Let's see, H. Hanamura Yosuke. It's nothing. I just freaked out when you called all of a sudden. Yeah, that's it. What's up? Hey, when do you want to meet? That's not why I was calling. I saw the Midnight Channel. You saw it too, right? Uh huh? Did Teddy not tell you? Since we're meeting up early tomorrow, I decided to come today. I figured you wouldn't think I could have seen it, so I gave you a call. Uh, well, I assumed you weren't here yet, so I didn't want to rely on you. <laughs> you haven't changed. So how about it? You're not gonna leave this be, are you, Captain Rosantamo? Why'd you zero in on that part? Did you see how they called you a sister complex kingpin? <laughs> Mine's not that bad. You think? Oh, I ought to tell you. That program's not the only strange thing lately. Teddy, Rise, and Kanji aren't here either. They disappeared. All right, we should get together tomorrow like we planned. Yeah, at the Jeunesse Food Court. Welcome back, partner. It's good to be here. Oh, right. Sorry to say, I forgot to pick up your souvenir. A souvenir? Don't even worry about it, man. You sure? I thought you were really looking forward to it. Those nurses. N nurses Yeah, Teddy asked me to get it for you. He said you were crushed that they got burned. Oh, wait. This is all... I didn't know you were into nurses. Shut up! That's enough! Damn it, you're trying to wind me up, aren't you? Stay home, you jerk! But I'm already here. Well, I'll see you tomorrow.
Good to see you guys again. Welcome back! We missed you! The guest of honor is finally here! You're looking well. Welcome back. Um, should we... Oh, he already knows about the Midnight Channel thing. He's actually the one who called me up about it. Oh, hey, see. This has turned into a pretty thrown-together reunion, hasn't it? But I'm glad you came. Well, it sucks that we can't hang out more before jumping into another mystery, but to celebrate our partner's return, I hereby reinstate the investigation team in response to the Midnight Channel going back on the air last night. Oh, the team is back! Just hearing that name again gets me all fired up. Yeah, let's do this! Uh, I think the applause is necessary. Let's get cracking. I mean, this is no laughing matter. No one's heard from Teddy, Kanji, or Rise. Just those three, right? Yeah. Oh, I got a hold of Naoto-kun, but I didn't tell her about this stuff. She told me she couldn't make it today because of her job, so I didn't want to worry her. She seemed pretty bummed that she couldn't be here too. Yeah. Going by the pattern from last year, it wouldn't be that clear until after the victim entered the TV. Hey, isn't this the first time a big group of people was shown together? Plus, we're still here. Why us anyway? And what's up with those insulting descriptions? What bothers me most is Teddy. He was acting like the host of that show. Yeah, and we can't find him. This smells fishy. Then again, I doubt he would play a prank like this for no reason. I guess we'll just have to go inside the TV and find out what's going on. without Teddy to give us an exit? Uh-huh, not so. I've had Teddy keep the exit TV out on that side. Look at you, all prepared. I mean, think about it. What if we were half asleep and fell into a TV when Teddy wasn't over there? Isn't that a scary thought? like anyone would be that clumsy. Anyway, it sounds like it's safe for us to go investigate then. Yeah, 
and there's no doubt that something's going on in there. Is everyone ready? We're all good to go. To tell the truth, I had a hunch that this was going to happen. It's a holiday, so the store's full of people. The other one. Well, it's a bit more pricey, <laughs> I feel like things are picking up around town. Oh, that's enough. It's time to go. Oh, Mom. Hello. All the models are on sale right now. Uh, about you know, <sighs> it's been a while since last time. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> oh, wait! There are still people in this aisle! Hey! Get ready! Huh? The customers are going hey, away! Let's go! Yeah. Yeah. Isn't this different from usual? Oh no! What do we do? What can we do? We can't stop now! Welcome to the Velvet Room. It's not a dream this time? What's going on? Didn't my contract end already? This room is tied to your fate. Nothing that occurs here is meaningless. Though you reached an end to one journey, you now find yourself here again. This shows that you will once again be faced with a question. A question? And something really is going on? From here on, what befalls you will upset your status quo. It is true that you've opened the door once already, but all things change. Nothing ever remains the same. What you gained before will change over time as well. You will have to face them once again. Face them? Again? Show me how you will proceed down the path that awaits beyond the door you've opened.
Where am I? has to be the TV world. This has never happened before. Hello! Sorry for the wait! Greetings, boys and girls of Yasagami! The P1 Grand Prix is about to begin! need for manners or courtesy or anything today, so let it all hang out. Tell us how you really feel. What the? for you and Risa. Ah, always with the talking, Sensei. It's a big waste of time. Less talk and more fighting. With the next challenger, come on down.
rate. They're expecting you and me to fight. <laughs> Looks like. Sheesh, what's Teddy thinking? buddy-buddy with each other. These battles are fought to the death. Only the victor can proceed. This joke's gone on far enough, Teddy. We're not gonna play along with that. Oh, really? I guess he should declare me the winner then. Yosuke? What? You don't plan on fighting, right? That means I win by default. with you? I mean, since Nanako-chan's here and all? Nanako's here? Wait, really? You haven't seen her? She's with Teddy. Where is she? Yosuke, where's Nanako? Oh, what's gotten into you, partner? No need to get hysterical. Why are you so calm about this? You know what happened to her last time she came here. Yosuke, be straight with me. Are you sure Nanako is with Teddy? Uh, how should I know? If I had to guess, I'd say she's probably still with him. Man, are you alright? Are you that worried about Nanako-chan? It's no wonder people look at you funny, thinking you have a sister complex. <laughs> Yosuke, are you alright? Huh? What are you talking about? I should be the one saying that to you. She's not even your real sister. All that big bro stuff really creeps me out. Hmm, it was a while ago that I saw her. It's probably too late to save her now. You know how things went last year after all. Yosuke. Draw your weapon. You'll get your fight. What? Dude, what are you saying? You told me you let me win by default. I don't know if you're being controlled or if there's something else going on here. Either way, you must understand the best way to resolve the situation.
Sorry, but I'm gonna go all out. No hard feelings. Huh? All that talk and you're gonna fight against your partner after all? Well, whatever. Let's hurry up and get this started. Ready? Continue with this? Teddy, about Nanako. <laughs> I don't want to spoil the surprise. If you want to find out, you'll have to get to me. And I can't say why, but I think you should hurry. Yosuke, are you alright? Ow, couldn't you hold back a little? I seriously thought you were gonna kill me. The same went for you. I wouldn't have stood a chance if I held back on you. already. It's not like that's the only thing I ever think about. What's this about nurses? Huh? You were harping on it the whole time. How can you stand there and constantly bash my taste in women with a straight face? Is it such a crime to like nurses? Wait a second. Yosuke, let me ask you something. Is it true that Nanako is here in this world? She is?
guess there's no choice but to keep going. Taking off? Yeah. Well, be careful. Oh, uh, one last thing. About those nurses. Ah, quit it already! Are you out of your mind again? <laughs> oh, what is this? Huh, so there's an invisible wall. Looks like the loser can't leave the room. I see how it works now. Thanks. me as your guinea pig. Wait, that's it? Hey, don't wear yourself out, all right? Welcome to the Velvet Room. Things have only just begun, and yet you already seem tired. The misfortune that has befallen you can be thought of as a sort of trial. A trial? Indeed. I am an observer on your journey. I would do nothing so thoughtless as to force you to make choices. You do not need such provocations. I already know that you shine brilliantly enough. Yes, that is part of your brilliance. Personas are masks of resolution, strengthened by controlling one's heart by forming bonds. You understand this well, don't you? Yeah, that's how we all fought up till now. Yes, indeed. But one's heart is intangible. It cannot be seen and cannot be felt. When polished, it releases a strong light unlike anything else. But it can also be clouded by trivial things. Have you ever felt that way?
you truly are strong. I find that very appealing about you. But you should remember that not everyone is as strong as you. From here on, you will be forced to re-examine the things you know as bonds. How will you face the changes to come, and what choices will you make? Changes, huh? Might be the announcement room. Feel like I'm being led somewhere. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Sorry ain't gonna cut it. What were you gonna do if you hurt one of the students here, huh? You can't go pulling that stuff without student council approval. All right, the jig is up. I'm putting the kibosh on this tournament right now. Hey, wait, hold on a second. I'm not in this because I want to be. I'm trying to stop the tournament. Why are you here, by the way? Wait, did you fall inside a TV? All 
inside a TV. What kind of nonsense is that? I'm Yu Narukami. I was a second year at Yasugami High until last year. Huh? Last year? But that uniform... Oh no, this is... Uh, kind of my usual equipment when I'm in the TV world. Equipment? Uh, never mind. Uh, forget it. Well, if you were only around till last year, I ain't gonna blame you for not knowing. I'm the new student council president. Nice meeting you. tournament because you want to be. Then what are you doing here? And what's this tournament about in the first place? If I got this right, you didn't start this, but your friend did. Hmm. Well, you don't seem like you're lying. Jim! I ought to tell you to go home, but I get that you're worried about your sis. Come on, let's go check it out. What is this? Who'd go to all this trouble? Mess. 
Sancha. What's the idea? Raising a ruckus like this without running it by the student council. Pack it in and clean all this up already. Leave this to me. That was pretty harsh, Teddy. Hard to believe a womanizer like you would say such things. Huh. What's so attractive about a shameless liar like her? Liar? You know something about her? Are you alright? Has anything odd happened to you? Odd? No, I, I don't think so. Nanako might be in here. I'm heading to the announcement room where Teddy is. I need you to protect this girl from me. She might be a victim of all this. Why do I have to do that? It's not like I know her or anything. Yukiko, not you too. Calm down and listen to me. Can you understand what I'm saying? Huh? What are you saying all of a sudden? I can hear you clearly. What did you mean by you too? This is probably a trick the enemy is playing on us. They're trying to get us to fight each other. I'll say it one more time, Yukiko. I'd like you to protect this girl from me. Sorry, but... I don't know this. It just feels like you're being really selfish. You always help people who have nothing to do with you, and I admire that. But where does that leave us? It's always your friends who get put in danger because of your self-centeredness.
Ichijo. What the? Yuka? Stay back. Whatever you see here, try to stay calm. Promise me you won't run away. Persona! It's a wrong road. <laughs>